prepared us tremendously for that. Um, we've been on the road pretty much the last month and a half, two months, quite a bit. Uh, we fared pretty well on the road all year, you know, so know we're capable of going to win some road games. And when this team's back is against the wall, I like how the group shows up. So not ideal, but it is what it is, and that's what we're faced with, and we want to keep playing for much longer into this season. So just got to go get it done. Now, back to Willard and Dibs oh. on 95.7 The Game. Maybe the Golden State Warriors are just like all of our relationships. Maybe that's it. You think? Yeah. One, you, One and done. Like, you're like, we got it. <laughs> we got it. We figured it out. And now it's going to be great every day going forward. And then you wake up the next day and oh, you're like, geez. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. But I don't have it. And I don't know what the hell's going on until the next day after that where you're like, now I got We're good, it. yeah. Now I got We're it. good. Yeah. <laughs> we got Sacramento. We yeah. can do this. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Well, um, yeah, they probably don't got it. Um, but that doesn't mean they're not going to win tomorrow night. Right. That doesn't mean they're not going to win on uh, on Friday, too. Yeah. It's like mm. parenting, a, uh, parenting a toddler. Parenting's good, too. A toddler. Yeah, or or I mean. any age. Yes, you, but... You've been through every age. I have. My kids are 22, 20, yeah. and 19 months. And you don't got it. No. I mean, I had it yesterday. Right. And then today, it's like, oh my God, I don't got it. And and some of us just say that. We got it. But like... You don't got it. No. <laughs> no, you don't got it. Today, we did a, a 40-minute uh, Q&A with my daughter, who's almost 20 months old. A Q&A? Were there microphones? Like, I was, was asking... That? No, the cue was, honey, do you want to put your pants on? And the answer was, no, no. And she proceeded and then, to And then what about the conversation away. with your kid? Yeah, exactly. That oh, was, that, wasn't, that wasn't supper? <laughs> that was not me in the mirror. Put your pants on. Exactly. No! I was asking my, my 19-month-old, honey, do you want to put your pants on? No, no. And then I proceeded oh. to grab her and try to put her pants on and she threw herself back and it's like no all done all done i said oh. you know what oh. we're going pantsless you want to go pantsless why not it's 44 degrees oh, out that's why, why. it's yeah. freezing kids, outside outside kids went to a preschool like that where they're just like oh if if they don't want pants oh my god we don't, don't do, <laughs> we don't do <laughs> pants, don't do pants. And parents are showing up and kids are running around naked Flying out into the street, dude. You're just like, what the hell's going on in here? We're not doing Montessori. Oh, yes, just it's, great. They're just being themselves. It's great. It's, they're free. They're, they're smiley and happy themselves. and free. No, they're naked, and that's not allowed. Right. So it's okay. <laughs> you don't got it. No. Hey, warriors. You got it. You don't got it. I mean, you don't got it, but you might tomorrow. And then we'll see after that. Right. One day at a time, brother. I mean, just can we can we get tomorrow? And I, I heard probably, Steiny and Guru talking probably. about this and I don't I was listening to them earlier and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm kind of an, in Steiny's camp and I hate to say that out loud oh, and I just God. did. You think the Mavericks are gonna win this? <laughs> Mavericks in five. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think that if they lose Tuesday and or Friday, I'm not gonna be okay with it. You have to win Tuesday and Friday for me to not be... What does that mean, okay with it? Okay with the fact that uh, this season was a... And I, I don't want to say disaster because Monty Poole had a great uh, word for it earlier and I can't remember what it was, uh, but it was basically like a disaster. And if they don't win Tuesday and Friday, it's going to feel to me like a, a total failure, like a disaster. Hmm. He didn't use calamity... Uh, what was it, Grandy? <sighs> you were listening. I'm trying to process this. You might have the sound. I can play it. You want to listen? I would love to. Let's right. hear I it. love Monty Pool. Okay. You got it, Willard? Do you want me to play? Oh, this is I got it. Okay. This is great. That was a this stare down. We're like it's looking at each other down. like, this is going to be great. I can't wait for you to play it. Uh, here it is. Monty Pool. To me, if they lose, uh, this is a disaster. Everything from the Chris, well, the Chris Paul uh, prior acquisition was all about the postseason. They didn't bring in Chris Paul because they wanted to win 55 games. They brought in Chris Paul so that when we get to the postseason, 
We have a guy on our bench who can lead our bench crew that's reliable, low turnover guy, high assist guy, an orchestrator, an organizer. And so if they get if they're one and done, that's that's a colossal failure. To me, they gotta get through at least two games. And I know the second game's gonna be a lot tougher. But if they don't, to me it says, Okay, guys. It's time to start turning the page. Okay, hold on, though. Thank you. I, it, it, colossal, colossal failure. Colossal failure, Thank but, you. but did he say you just have to get to the second game or through the second game? To the game or through the game? Through the game. Well, through then the it's game. probably going to be a colossal failure. Well, then that's what it is. I don't care how big of a fan you are. You have to admit right now that that the playoffs are a probably not. You have to admit that. Don't be myopic. Like, this has nothing to do with your belief. Nothing to do with that at all. Please do not translate this. Oh, it's anti and you Steph Curry hater. No. This is by mathematical and, and NBA odds metrics, analytics, if you will. The playoffs are a probably not. You are asking for the Warriors to win two road games in a row against Highly motivated, good playoff level, 40 plus, 46, 49, 48 win basketball teams. That's a probably not in in any way, shape, or form. That is a probably not. Yeah. And so yeah. if I read what Monty Poole is saying correctly, this is probably a colossal failure. Yes. And I think that you look at this season in totality and you could make that assessment and you wouldn't be wrong because of all the things that have happened and yes 46 wins and you know you, you went under the the Vegas total which was 48 and a half but 46 and 36 is not totally shameful but when you look at this year in totality and you look at everything that happened Draymond missing 20 and Wiggins missing you know five or six and then CP broke his hand and he was out and Steph Curry looking a little bit more mortal than maybe we were ready to admit. I think that having Pods and TJD get a playoff series has such value that if you don't even get to that opportunity, it becomes a colossal failure. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is set up for though. This is set up for them to come out of it. It is. It's, it's set yeah. up like uh, I mean. I'm sure those two statements I just made sound absurd right next to one right. another. I do. It's it's probably not. However, if the opponents and things go the way I think they may go, you're asking for the Warriors to beat the Kings and the Pelicans right. in back-to-back -back games. Neither one of these are, are playoff championship DNA-type teams. Um, the Kings are wounded, and the Pelicans are just like the Warriors. They're not great in their home building. Their, their, their home record is 21-19 and 19 this year. Which, by the way, begs its own question. Why do the Pelicans only play 40 home games instead of 41? The hell happened there? Only 40? That's what it says. That's weird. It says they're 21 and 19 at home and 28 and 14 on the road. 40 and 42. They Like they played an extra road game or something. Yeah. How's that even possible? That is weird. That's not possible. It's got to be uh, in-season tournament related. <laughs> oh, maybe you're right. That's probably a good point. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Stupid yeah. in season two. I mean, I love it. And the Lakers <laughs> hung a banner. Absurd. Of course Absolutely they did. Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, they've essentially got And the Lakers did the same, by the way. Forty two home, forty road. Yeah. Well, that's cheating. Yeah. And they beat the Warriors by a half game and they played an extra home game. There you go. That's a protest. <laughs> exactly. Close the bridge. I'm sorry. That's probably not. Too soon. I probably shouldn't have said that. No, you shouldn't um, have. <laughs> Although, I mean, and don't get me started with that. You better it's, be careful. I won't. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's I won't. I don't even know what what was what was what was going Apparently, on. Apparently, the people who were protesting had chained themselves together. Okay, and they put PVC pipe around the chain. Oh, which is why it took so long for them to clear the protest. Well, what was it about? I don't even know what. Like I, I Palestine. Was, Okay, yeah. that's what I figured. Pro that's what I figured. Yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. Uh, ben in Oakland. Hey, Ben, you're on with Willard and Dibs. What's up, Ben? What are you doing? Uh, I'm fixing my batting cages. Oh, I didn't know they were broken. Look at you. Yeah, yeah, Dibs has been up here before. 
I'm from Oakland. But, uh, hey, before I forget, I've been meaning to say this. <laughs> yeah, um, do you know that Gary Payton and Patrick Mahomes sound exactly the same? I don't know if anyone's ever picked up on that. Gary but, um, Payton? Really really called... Do you mean Gary or Gary Payton or GP2? GP2. Because I've always thought Mahomes Patrick... sounds a little bit like Kermit the Frog. And Gary Payton the second. Eh. <laughs> I don't know if GP2 <laughs> yeah, sounds like him. Well, anyway, go ahead, Ben. Go ahead. But what I was going to say is um, I think that the Warriors are going to blow the Kings out just so that I pay attention again. I've already decided not to watch the game after we lost to uh, New Orleans. All year, you start rooting for the team. They do great. And, oh, terrible loss. Okay, I'm out. Then they pull you back in. It's been back and forth. And just for more pain for the fans, we're going to blow out the Kings. We're going to look amazing. The national media is going to get back on the horse. Then we're going to lose the next game. So okay. That's hey, what I ben. going to happen just because of my emotions. Batting cage, Ben, <laughs> can I ask you a question? I love it. Why, why did you decide Friday night that you're not even, you're out? You're not watching. What, what happened that night that made you say that? Uh, well, we lost to New Orleans. I mean, like, so yeah. we, we have a chance to be in the 7 8 game, right? And so as soon as we think we got no chance to even get up there, then we start winning again. 7-8 game, they're a young team. We're supposed to be veterans and win at the end, and then we lose again. It's just just so back and forth, and now we have to win two games. I don't care about road or home, but it's just the extra wear and tear. Um, well, who knows? I'd still like to play Denver, but uh, now it's, I guess we still can since they're the two seed. No, but we that can't. Was another discussion. We cannot, Ben. No, the Warriors cannot be the seven seed. They no. will be the eight seed, or they will be the no seed. No, no, you're right. You're yeah. right. I mean, he was right. talking that about was the in the uh, Western Conference Finals. Oh, in the they finals. In the yeah. finals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Western Conference Finals. Yeah. Oh yeah. What are we doing? The the, the rare two ten uh, final. Hey, uh, and thank you, Batting yeah, Cage Ben. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, I love it. Like, Dibs has been up here. What? Like you've been to everybody's home in no, all but, of Oakland. Ben knows that uh, as a former Little League uh, coach in the Knoll Soul, North Oakland Little League, South Oakland Little League. Yes. Uh, there's the batting cages at Caldecott, which is where he's talking about, or the batting cages at Chabot. Chabot Ballfield, and Got he it. he knows that I've I've been in many a cage, you know, with my ain't that the truth? With my yeah, knife. cut that. <laughs> I've cut been many that. a cage. Yeah. I've been in many a cage. <laughs> Although my coaching days are over, until my baby girl gets to be five, and I coach her in yeah, under six. Thank soccer. God! Now you're just fighting with coaches. Oh yeah! Everywhere you go, it's and that's going to be a T for you, little T. <laughs> that's going to be a T, and you're going to have to watch yourself. I should have brought my whistle. <laughs> Blow the whistle. Yeah. Um, no, why Why is that so offensive that they lost to the Pelicans on Friday night? You're going to be disappointed. It's not I was, offensive. I was disappointed, too, but the Pelicans are a good basketball team. Right, but that's a game where you need to win, and turns out if you would have won it, you'd, you'd be, be the, the eight, eight, eight seed. Yes. My God. You'd be the eight seed. Win a game at home. You turned the ball over nine times in one quarter, yes. and they turned it into 45 points. Correct. In a game in which you lost by five. Wait, that, nine that, that, turnovers that, turned into 45 points? Oh, well, it was nine turnovers okay. turned into 15 points, well, but they scored okay. 45 yeah. in the quarter. Yeah, but yeah. we're, we're wow. having two different Good conversations. Call. Like, I'm not I'm not telling you it was a good performance. I'm just telling you that, like, I don't know, if you've reached now and you can't figure out that the Warriors are A, inconsistent, and B, probably going to pull the rug out from under your feet. That's a little bit of a you thing. Like, my point is this. I'd have been much more offended if they had lost the game in Portland, which they almost did. Yeah, Portland been, showed up. I would have been. Portland showed up. Portland showed up big time. I love when we say stuff like this. Portland tried. Portland got up for that game, no. Mark. <laughs> you know that. Oh, God. You know that. No, the Warriors played like butt in a can, okay? On Friday night. Yes, although they also sat players, which like threatened to be a really horrible decision if they had lost that basketball game. But then again... That's sort of the cadence of the NBA season in the Western Conference. You're going to see stuff like that, like what the Nuggets did in San Antonio. You're just going to have nights where the other team is like squirrely. You don't quite have your good stuff. But it's like when the Lakers were in Memphis on Friday night. You're watching that one, and, and you're thinking, hey, hey. Like, I watched that at my brother-in-law's house 
He's a Laker down fan. Down south. So he's sitting there like. Was he rocking his purple oh, and gold? No, but he's freaking out on every single possession. And it's so funny when you can watch these games and take the emotion out of it. Because I I watched the Portland game with the Warriors the night before, and I was losing my my S yeah. because your emotions are wrapped up into it. I'm watching the Lakers in Memphis. He's freaking out at every possession. I'm sitting there picking my teeth, and I'm going, dude, the Lakers are going to win this. This is how it works. Right. The playoff team and the non-playoff team, the young versus the old, the inexperienced versus the experienced, and it gets all crazy, and the little engine that could's like, we might win! Yep. And then you're like, no, you're not. LeBron's going to steal the ball with five seconds left to go and dunk it and 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 laugh at John Moran in the face. Like, that's the way that always goes. I should have known the Warriors weren't going to lose to Portland. New Orleans, that's a different team. Different story. And if you have a bad quarter, yeah, you lose. You play like that, you lose. That's what this team does. That's why they're here. Right, but you can't play like that in that spot. And that's why it was so frustrating because... <laughs> you can if you want to be a 10 seed. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and so are. you asked me about, uh, you know, this week and, you know, tomorrow, Tuesday at Sacramento, I expect them to win, but do I expect them to win both of these games? Not really because this no. team has been that team. This team has been that team Friday night. Good first quarter, dreadful second Good third and fourth, not enough, you lose. That's what I mean. Right. Like, we've been talking about this for weeks now. The idea of coming in the day after a game and being like, okay, we got action. Like, no, no, they just played well last night. That's it. Or the idea of coming in the day after a loss and being like, I'm discouraged. Let's let Clay walk. It's just an overreaction. Every And I get it. Right. We're in it. We love this team. And it's an unbelievable story. But that's sort of like, that's why they belong in the play-in tournament. I have, use the word expect. I have no clue what to expect this week. Yeah? None. None. They could win these two games by 20. Um, they could lose tomorrow, or tomorrow by 20. tomorrow night at 9.30, yep. the beam could be uh, oh, don't mention the carving B-word. right through your heart. Totally. And, it, and, and I have zero trouble believing either of those realities, either of those possibilities. That's who they've been the whole year. Why, right? would it, why would it be different this week? But they've been different in the second half, and they, they wrapped up the year going 28-14 and 14 over the yeah. last 42. So the, the second half, they've been great. Well, if we're talking about the first half, the Warriors wouldn't even be a playing team. Right. They were a complete mess. They had to play good basketball even to get to this point. Um. Let's go to Leroy in Oakland. Hi, Leroy. You're on with Willard and Dibbs. What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to uh, call in real quick. I'm a, I'm a big Warriors fan. And um, I just wanted to stress how important I think it is for uh, the Warriors to come out fast against SAC. And if they get this game, I think they get better and better as the playoff goes along. And I'll tell you why. I think if they get this game against Sacramento, the veterans, people who have won championships, even some of the younger guys that have won championships, they get that this game, and then that old feeling comes back, that winning time. You know, that old feeling, hey, we're here again, and we know how this feels. We know what it takes. The, 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 the lights are not too bright. And then you got the young guys who haven't won a, a, a playoff game or a play-in game and you get that game and then that instills the confidence in them and then they start getting the feeling like hey we can win and so I just think that if they get this game <laughs> look out I think the Warriors just get better um, as the games go along guys. Leroy I do not mean to chuckle at your point I, I but you fell right into something that we were saying about 45 minutes ago you have to start every single sentence about the Warriors with the word if. If they get this game, then watch out. Right. Or or if they get this game, they'll lose on Friday. Or, I, uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's or, so many ifs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. It's not that, Leroy, it's not that you're wrong. You're not. You're not. The Warriors are a very capable basketball team as are the other nine in in this dance. All of them are very, very capable. None of them are terribly consistent. That's it. 
even the ones at the top have shown that they are totally capable of uh, a, a complete duff job, chunking one right into the water, if oh, you will. Geez. They're all capable of it. I think that's why it's going to make a, for a great playoff, but it's very treacherous for the Warriors this week because of that, because you're asking for two sort of like throw a feather up into the wind and see which way it blows. Right. You're asking for it to blow the exact same way twice. Twice. And that's less than likely. It's a coin toss, exactly. Yeah. And, and you're favored by two and a half over sack, which means it's a, a three-pointer you make or a three-pointer they make away from winning or losing, and that's a coin toss. And then you get to, to Friday, L.A. or New Orleans. I think that they'll be underdog in either one, but probably not by more than three or four points again. So... Like you said, it's a feather in the wind and it's a coin toss, kind of a ball game. What's the number in that? Uh, what's the number in that uh, Lakers that LA, Pelicans game? Let me yeah. look. Yeah, here, let me see. I've got I'm it at uh, uh, L.A. favored. Yeah, I know. I know. No, LA's favored. New Orleans favored by one and a half. It oh, opened really? with the Lakers favored. I was going to say I saw it yesterday. I'm looking at ESPN bet. And it's uh, New Orleans favored by one and a half yeah, right now. Okay. I got it at New Orleans minus one. But yeah. And it opened with LA favored by two and a half. And the Warriors opened at two and they're up to three. Okay. I saw the Warriors open at one. Ooh. There's big money coming in on the Warriors. Yeah, the I've sharps, got it at two and a half. The yeah. Sharps like the dubs. Yeah. Tomorrow night. And they should. I mean, <laughs> they're probably eight to ten points better in a one off. And they're they're as good on the road as they are at home. They're better on the road. That Pelican spread is a head scratcher. I mean, the Lakers completely dominated their you know what's yesterday in that same building yep. in a game the Pelicans needed. They absolutely needed that game. Would have avoided the play in tournament entirely. And the Pelicans have lost three or four to the Lakers this year. They are not good at home. All of those factors, you put them in a bucket and come out with the Pelicans being favored. Does somebody know that Anthony Davis isn't playing or something like that? And the other talk was that the Lakers would punt the game to somehow, oh like, I mean, no. that was out there, though. No. How about a different like, conspiracy okay. theory? The Pelicans Please. didn't care about yesterday because they wanted to avoid the Nuggets as the sixth seed. They'd rather be the seven, take their chance in this game. But the Nuggets are the, the two. Teams. But the Nuggets are the two. Oh, you're right. Yeah. But they the didn't know the that. I mean, no, but it was that's all why, concurrent. But that's why so. you can't mess around with it. You have no idea. What, what, how this was all going to play out. The tiebreaker scenarios with those top three teams were ridiculous. Right. Like, I thought when the Nuggets beat the T-Wolves last week, I'm like, oh, the Nuggets have got it. Yeah, they're and the And they ones. did. All they had to do was beat the Spurs. Dude. But they blow that, and then all three teams end up tied, and somehow that spits out uh, Oklahoma City. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going And then Minnesota gets blown out. I'm like, what are, the, what are y'all doing? It was crazy. What are what y'all are you doing? doing? What are you doing right, right. now? So maybe the Lakers want to, uh, you know, donk this one off. That way they can be the eight and they can take on OKC. Donk it off, yeah, huh? Yeah. I hope they don't. I want the Lakers and Warriors to win tomorrow night. I think that's best for the Warriors and worse for the Lakers. They'll go see the Nuggets. Then.